Hey everybody, it's Coffee with me. Fragging out a discussion about whatever I want to talk about in the morning. <sighs> Here's the one thing I'm actually going to talk about with Deadpool and Wolverine, because I don't want to spoil or anything for anyone who doesn't want to spoil things to them. Thing, anyone who doesn't want anything spoiled to them. Nah. Christian weirdos, fuck off, please. Just fuck off. Ugh. You actually were offended by the Marvel Jesus bit? Really? Really? Oh my god. Ugh. You saw the clip of the lady and her husband going viral. It's like, this is not the Deadpool that we know. Deadpool used to keep Alfred, blind Alfred, in a freaking room full of, like, broken glass shards whenever he felt she was acting up in the comics, okay? The version in the movies is a little tickler by comparison. Ugh. And even then, still lots and lots of murder. Ugh. Just because he kind of looks like Spider-Man doesn't mean he's Spider-Man, damn it. Ugh. Ugh, boy, boy, boy. I remember when the Owl House, like, uh, came out, Christian weirdos were, like, complaining about that, too. It was like, it's about a girl who wants to be a witch and has a demonic familiar. And it's like, shut up. It's satire. Dipsticks. Ugh. And it's basically like Harry Potter, but good. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. The original Harry Potter series doesn't age well. Deal with it, you Daniel. I mean, it's fine when you're a kid, honestly, but... You know, eh... Uh, like... Harry and Ginny, really? That's what we're going with? JK just shoved that in last minute, didn't she? Hmm. Harry and Draco makes more sense than that, as attested by multiple, multiple fan fictions. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, back to Deadpool and Wolverine. That's not the first time you see Christian wackadoos messing with something superhero related. At comic cons all across the nation, you you see like people like just randomly protesting comic culture and everything. You know, Westboro Baptist weirdos, basic, most of them are scam artists. It's like, you hit them and then you can, like, sue them. They can sue for, like, a million dollars or whatever. It's it's a whole thing. Yeah. They always have, like, a... And the ones around on my city that used to be around, they just have signs with a bunch of vague list of things that they think are wrong with society. You know, so that they can protest any random things. One time they were just at a college campus for some reason. I don't know what they were protesting there. I haven't seen them in years. Thank goodness they were super annoying. Yeah, uh, yeah. The comics and Christian weirdos have been at odds for, like, literally decades. You know, that's why the Comics Code Authority exists. Why comics have felt so freaking neutered for years. We really need to put like a like get rid of the CCA because most of it's bullshit. Especially like the part where it's like the parts where like police are only allowed to like be shown as like good and criminals are not allowed to redeem themselves. Especially the latter. Like that's just like straight up defeatist and like goes against what the criminal justice system should be about. Rather than just catching people who've committed crimes and then committing them to, like, prison slavery and making, like, ramen for the people. It's not a joke. They actually, were like, ramen packets by Maruchan Ramen are actually made by prisons in the U.S. Yeah. At least I think they are. I'm, that might be libel. <clears throat> yeah. By the way, their made in the USA ramen packets taste like crap. Ugh.
Christian weirdos comics. Oh yeah, I once got almost tricked into being attached to like some Christian movement because they complained about like this one nasty sex assault joke in Savage Dragon, which yeah, like that was gross. But then they just kind of like started going off and on about all these things. It's like, okay, yeah, he, he, he. like you were right about Savage that Savage Dragon joke. That was weird, but he. How is that comic still going? Who's buying those Savage Dragon? Like I know, I think at least a thousand people a month are buying them. I, mean, I don't know why or who. What's going on? At one point, Captain Tootsie, the original mascot for Tootsie Rolls, became a main character. Because sure, hmm. Christian wackadoos, Christian wackadoos. Dogma. Kevin Smith film, people hated that for that. Like the Christian man could do hated that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin and Scott, they ended up like like again protesting their own film. That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And the way it all just comes down to tro the control, you know? Is it less that Deadpool and Wolverine is tied to Satan, or is it just too chaotic and something that you didn't expect? Going against your norms of how heroes are supposed to be, and how humor is supposed to be. Think on that. Think on that. Either way, I hope you... Have a morning.